the face of the Afghan war now. Afghan soldiers are leading the fight and bearing the cost. The wounded fill hospitals after being injured by roadside bombs, rockets and gunfire. Nasir Ahmed was fighting in Kandahar and lost both legs when he stepped on a mine. He's engaged to be married. My fiancé is proud of me for losing my limbs for our country and our people. Thank God I am still alive. Shah Rasul has had ten operations to save his leg after he was shot by the Taliban in Helmand. He told me that 30 of his Afghan comrades and two British soldiers were killed in the firefight. Last year around 3,000 Afghan soldiers and police were killed, ten times as many as foreign forces. And this year the proportion is even higher. Thousands more are being injured, a casualty rate that is unsustainable for this new force. The operating theatres in a hospital built during the Russian war 30 years ago are busy all the time. In one week recently, more than 100 Afghan soldiers were killed. Injuries are running at a far higher total than that. Most of our patients are injured by roadside bombs. The enemy hasn't got the capability to fight face to face with our security forces. A sad, steady stream of coffins are carried away by the families of the dead. Some leave covered in the Afghan flag in honor. But others leave anonymously, draped only in funeral black. These are returning to Taliban-controlled districts where connection with the military could be fatal for the families of the fallen. And the dead leave behind young lives, altered forever, in Afghanistan's war without end. David Loyne, BBC News, Kabul.